All right, my good people, it is the SMT back with another episode here on the channel. I found this article on FierceWireless.com. Uh, this is actually from the same author of the last video I took a look at, uh, Bevan Fletcher. Uh, this is actually dated from yesterday at the time of this recording, August 2nd. Uh, it says, what does the latest infrastructure bill say about 3.1 to 3.45 gigahertz? For those of you out there that have been following the C-band situation, uh, we know that that spectrum is going to really push forward 5G for a lot of customers. Uh, those that are you know wireless customers for Verizon and AT&T and even T-Mobile in some markets. Anyways, this would qualify as being very, very similar to C-band, very valuable, really important spectrum if and when it does become available uh, for auction and use by mobile network operators like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and DISH. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take a look at key elements of this article. Okay, so really it's an update on the situation with this particular spectrum. We all know that the FCC has to go through its thing to make this uh, you know, properly structured for auction and distribution of use of licenses. But before it does that, the Department of Defense, the DOD, the government, they're the ones that have this spectrum use. So it's got to get to the point where it could be commercially used. All right. So we're talking about a low three gigahertz to mid three gigahertz frequency that is just like C-band considered to be Goldilocks 5G spectrum. I don't know how much spectrum is in this band. Right. I don't know exactly what it is. and I don't know how many bands they would utilize for it. But. You know, I, I I guess I should probably do some more research on it. I probably will. I'll take a look into it. I know we've already learned about N77, N78, N79, and these things, but I'm assuming it would be something similar to that. So I'm looking at some of these elements. It says here that an auction process could happen no earlier than November 30th, 2024, and that's if everything works out in the research stage and the planning stage. You guys got to keep in mind when Spectrum is shared, a lot of stuff has to go into it to make sure that it's not going to kind of get in the way of each other's use. So like PALs or licenses that are uh, like what the mobile network operators use, or if it goes unlicensed and for public use and stuff like that, like how CBRS is set up, that makes it much more complicated. So I personally don't like the sharing thing. That's one of the negatives of CBRS. Uh, it's not the end of the world. CBRS is valuable, but it's hard to power it up used by like the network operators because they want it to reach several miles, you know, so that's going to be a problem here, but we'll see how things shake out. But I think what's interesting here is it's got a time frame, November 30th, 2024, and then it could technically be ready to use uh, in May of 2025. That may seem like a faraway place, but again, it's on the horizon. We're already approaching the back half of this year in 2021, approaching 2022. I'm going to follow this a little bit more. I want to see how things shake out if it's going to be pals or if it's going to be shared or if it's going to be pals and shared, we'll see what happens. I kind of don't want to see the same thing that happened with CBRS. I don't want that to happen here, but we'll see how things shake out. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, there's more spectrum auctions coming up. There's more mid band. I know a lot of you out there love mid band and maybe hate millimeter wave and whatever else. Every spectrum has its place. This is super exciting. We'll put it on the back burner for now. Just deposit it into your mind bank and we'll bring this up at a later time. I'll follow up and we'll see what happens with this. If you appreciated this video and you liked it, enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it to your socials. Also, if it's your first time here and you liked what you saw, subscribe for more SMT and also turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Check out what we got going on in the um, down in the description box, all the things happening with the community, Twitter, Patreon, all those things. Amazing. Thank you so much. You guys have a great rest of the day, and we will see you all on the next video. Peace.